Hello everyone, I'm Ben and in this video we're going to be creating a flapping flag in the wind using cloth simulation in Unreal Engine 4. Alright, let's get into it. So here I am with my import dialog and under mesh I want to make sure that skeletal mesh is ticked on and then I'm good to go. No bind pose, I didn't have any bones with my mesh so that's fine for our purposes. And you can see I've got my skeletal mesh, my physics asset, the skeleton and the material. So I'll just go ahead and put these textures onto the material by double clicking the material and I'm going to move it over here and delete the existing parameter. And then I'm going to drag my two texture samples in and maximize the view. Bring my color up here and run the RGB into my base color. And I want to put this into my opacity mask. So I just need to change this from opaque as my blend mode to masked. And then I can run this into opacity mask. I'd also like to make sure that this isn't shiny. So I'm going to press one on the keyboard and left click. And that'll let me create a scalar value of zero. So there is zero specularity on this material and it's looking a lot more like some roughed up jute now. And so I'm also going to make sure that I can see this flag on both sides. So I'm going to change it to two sided. All right. Say that apply, save, close. And now that I've got a material, I'm going to double click my skeletal mesh. And once this opens up, I'll orbit around till I get a good view of it. And here, what I'd like to do is add some clothing data. You can see right here, there is no clothing data. Right now, if you don't have this clothing data tab, we can go to window and choose clothing. All right, so there's no clothing data, so let's create some. So I'll select the mesh and right click and say create clothing data from section and create. And with this, we can see that we now have some clothing data over here. And so I'll select the mesh, right click and say apply clothing data and just choose which clothing data I, I want. And in this case, I've only got one um, one set of clothing data, so I'll choose it. It's just going to compile, so it'll take a moment. And then once that's done, what I want to do is to define which parts are going to be cloth simulated and which parts are going to be more rigid or not so simulated. So I'm going to, with it selected, I'll just say activate cloth paint and nothing seems to have happened. We just need to make sure that we select the clothing data that we want to work on, which is this one. All right. Now we can see that all the vertices are pink. And what that means is they're basically very, very rigid or uh, aren't going to be simulated uh, as a cloth. So we want to make them more fine and more cloth like. So down under the tool settings, under the paint value, the higher we put this number, the more like a fine cloth um, we're going to be simulating. So with this value of 100, um, I might just put some down and this, is, this brush is a little too big, so I'll drop that down. And then, you know, 100, really, I've tried it out on this cloth. It's pretty rigid. So I'm actually going to take this paint value up to 500. And now I'll just go on with a value of 500, run that over most of this flag, and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe spend a little bit more time, yeah, just getting that nicely tended to. Okay, so we should be ready to simulate. And we can do that by clicking deactivate cloth paint and away we go. All right, that's looking good. I'm going to save, close, drop that onto the beach, maybe make it a little bigger. And um, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Now, if I want, I can go and choose from the drop down here, choose simulate or press Alt S. And with that, I can... Uh, Press E on the keyboard and try and wave for some help. I'm over here. Okay. If you'd like to add some wind into your scene, you can just stop your simulation. Come over to your place actors, search for wind and drop in a wind direction source. And with this, come up here and maybe we'll set it to play and I'll scroll down under my world outliner. I'm going to go down to wind direction and choose maybe 20. Okay, that's looking quite good. I hope that helps and I'll see you in another video.